Hey everyone, bit of a different video than normal. It won't be edited, I'm just gonna upload it because I've got a meeting in 10 minutes. Um, I wanted to cover this black screen issue on MetaQuest and Unreal Engine 5.3. Um, people are building their APK or they're trying to play an editor after installing the, what's going on here? After installing the Meta XR plugin. Um, it's causing a whole bunch of issues. People are just getting black screens and it seems to be that nobody is reading the documentation on the meta page when they download it. Um, this is all the comments just for the black screen or probably from about here all the way up just on the YouTube and then the Discord, I've got 80, 83 results for black screen not working. So rather than just constantly pasting this in as, a, as a, an issue or what's going on, because it's getting a bit tiring. I'm just going to show you what's happening. So if you go to the MetaQuest, uh, Meta XR download page, you'll see that as of yesterday, they finally updated it for Unreal Engine 5.3.2, which it originally wasn't fully supported for. Um, but 5.3 did work with it. Uh, but what the main issue really seems to be is this section in, in known issues is people aren't reading. Um, and this is what's causing all your issues with the black screen. Um, VR Preview does not work if both OpenXR plugin and MetaXR plugin are enabled. OpenXR plugin should be disabled first, and this is what people aren't doing. So you're pressing play and edit it, and it's breaking. So what you need to do is you need to open up a project. I think I've got one. Okay, this is a, a project. And in your plugins folder, you need to make sure MetaXR is enabled. And then in your do, 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 mixed reality project, no, nope, where am I? Virtual reality. You want to make sure that OpenXR is disabled in all its components. Once you've done that, restart your project and you should be able to get the actual black screen from appearing. It'll use or it'll use MetaXR and then it should work. So I'm hoping that this helps you all out and that I get to stop answering that question. But in the meantime, if you do have any issues, leave a comment, drop in the description, we can make a list of what's going on. And hopefully, as it says with this, um, or it did used to say that it will be fixed in 5.4. So for now, that's pretty much the fix. It's disable OpenXR and enable the MetaXR plugin. If you're using the GDXR VR template, um, you can do the exact same thing. You don't have to worry about it. I built it with OpenXR, but the MetaXR plugin contains all the necessary features. So just go ahead and switch that. And make sure from now on that you actually take a look at this. And you'll see this here, link, no one issues as well, Oculus PC app, freeze system, and then a couple of other things. So make sure you read the documentation before installing. And then you can go ahead and make sure it's also installed in the correct location. I've got a video down in somewhere on the channel to show how to, to install this all to the correct place if you need it. But as of yesterday, it's now available for 5.3.2 officially. So keep that in mind. Hopefully I get the, it's the last time I get to answer that question. But if you need any more help, make sure to head over to Discord. We'll do what we can. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps in some way. I get to stop answering it. All right, bye.